All right, story number two. Bam. Speaking of Triple H, bam. He uh, said they were teasing this a lot. John Cena teased it a lot. He made an appearance at the pay-per-view. A WrestleMania at London. And I, I said earlier, and this is going to be a theme of it, I think when Japanese athletes go overseas, American athletes, you know, when you guys go overseas and different companies, the fans have more of a thing, just like an Independence Day for New Japan Strong, um, Forbidden Door, uh, you know, at London, uh, Impact in Australia. I think the athletes try harder, and I think the fans are more excited because WrestleMania, where are you going to put it? In America. Dallas? Well, they get four, I'm, I'm just guessing here, but they get about four major shows a year. Tampa gets like six major shows. New York has major shows. So all these places have major shows. So it's not as special. But if you go bring that stuff overseas, I, th I think it's more special. I, I think it is. I like, and granted, I do live in Japan, so that might be why. Like, hell yeah, bring a, bring a Royal Rumble to Japan. Um, but going to London, going to Australia, traveling the world, making it international would be awesome. So Triple H, I wish you nothing but the best. What do you think? WrestleMania I London. Think, I think if you want uh, a, a Royal Rumble in Japan, you just need an AEW pay-per-view to go to Japan. <laughs> that is true yeah, announce an AEW pay-per-view in the Tokyo Dome you will get a Royal Rumble before that day <laughs> Triple H is just like where are you going next Tony Tony's like we're going to Tokyo I'm like god damn it <laughs> All right, what pay-per-view can we move where where can we get out of a contract yeah yeah it's like wherever you go I'm going and I know the world you know it's weird the world is like so worshiping corporations that I think a lot of people forget competition's a good thing. You know, yeah. YouTube, Twitch, uh, Kick, you know, all the social media is competing against each other. Wrestling companies competing against each other. We win. And I think because people have been so loyal to companies, they don't realize that we win. And I think it would be, you could charge more money overseas the fans will be more excited because they don't get to see the athletes that much. And it's a big event. And it's kind of like you're representing your country. It's like, mm -hmm. okay, we're, you know, you bring, you bring, I don't know. I'm just going to pull a Sydney. You go to all Sydney, Australia in their heart will be like, we got to represent. We got to show the fans are excited. He pumped up where if you go to Tampa and I love Tampa with all my heart, dude, they're not pumped up for shit. If you, I, I used to sit on the floor in Tampa and they're like, so where are we going after this? <laughs> so I think uh, the big thing is every, every time they're going to go to a new market because they don't go there often, there's way more excited fans that are going to be at the show. Not just because, well, we want to make our, our crowds look good, but because they're excited because they know that these shows only come around however so often and they had this is one of their few opportunities to really enjoy the show yeah and and, and i i could kind of deal with that because i live in, in a major city yokohama and tokyo that's where i've lived for the last like 10 20 ish years it's probably where i'm gonna live the rest of my life mm -hmm. i remember like when okinawa it's kind of like the hawaii of japan when a wrestling mm -hmm. event came to H okinawa i just went I didn't give a shit who was on the card. I didn't care about anything. But living in Tokyo, you get to see this stuff all the time. It's like there are six, eight, nine shows every single day. So like when a good card comes, you're like, man, eh, maybe I'll go. You get spoiled. And I think mm -hmm. um, major cities that have a lot of wrestling or from a certain company get spoiled. Uh, Tampa was spoiled. They, they came in four or five, six times. I remember I was at a show. Um, I was sitting on the floor with Shannon Rose, rest in peace. And when we went to Tampa, they unmasked DDP as the stalker. And mm -hmm. two fans went, I heard it was Vince. One fan said, I heard it was Vince. And then one said, I heard it's DDP. And I kid you not, three or four people were like, just shut the fuck up, man. Who cares? They'll show us in 10 seconds. Like, there was no, 
Like, everyone's planning what they're doing next in Tampa. No one was like, fuck yeah, who's fucking, like, they're like, ah, don't worry, they'll tell us, don't worry, where are we going next? Like, it's like, all right, there we go. Where are we going next? So I think WWE being in cities that are highly populated, but they don't visit often, are going to pack mm -hmm. the place. Are, are absolutely yeah. going to pack the place. So, yeah. So more international, says the guy from Japan. More international shows. and He's not biased. Yeah. But I, I do think like Japan going to America, the athletes try more. And I think like it's more of a special thing. Like, here's an example. Um I don't know, Okada. If Okada's main eventing in Tokyo, I'm 50-50 on seeing that shit because it happens all the time. But if it happened in Tampa or, you know, I'd be like, oh, shit, I can't miss this. I just think mm -hmm. it feels more special. You know, and I think that has to do with also, too, if you've lived in out in a country in a city, it's country and city life. If a if, if circus comes to you out in the country, God damn, you're going to see that circus because that's the only thing you're going to see for another six months. If a circus comes to a city, like, oh, whatever, dude. Maybe I'll go if I got shit to do. So it's just, it's just certain yeah. cities are spoiled because they just have lots of events where you could get the best of both worlds by going overseas where you're normally not. So. Yeah, you're not wrong at all. There you go. All right.